Hi, everyone. In this interview, I speak with Rachel Smith, who's the Vice President and General Manager for Canada at Air Products. We speak about why Air Products chose Edmonton for its massive investment in Canada, the development of Canada's first hydrogen hub in the Edmonton region, and what she sees as the potential hydrogen offers for Canada and the global future economy. Enjoy. My name is Rachel Smith, and I am the Vice President of Air Products Canada. Hi, Rachel. It's really a pleasure to be speaking with you today. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I want to begin with a, a really simple one. Could you just describe Air Products Canada and uh, what it does? Absolutely. Air Products is a world-leading global industrial gas company that's headquartered in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We have been in operation for over 80 years, providing essential industrial gases that benefit our customers around the world. This includes products like nitrogen, oxygen, argon, helium, and the much talked about hydrogen. Today, Air Products is the world's largest hydrogen producer, and we are proud to be Canada's leading hydrogen supplier. With decades of global hydrogen experience, Air Products has the proven capability to safely produce, distribute, and dispense this increasingly important fuel. Lastly, I'll highlight that Air Products is driving sustainable growth through executing mega projects around the world that enable a transition to a cleaner energy future. We develop, engineer, build, own, and operate some of the world's largest gasification, carbon capture, and hydrogen projects. A great example of this is our exciting new net zero hydrogen energy complex that's in Edmonton, Alberta. Well, you mentioned hydrogen throughout and you you referred to it as the much talked about hydrogen. Uh, it seems like it's a buzzword these days, uh, but there is a lot of buzz and a lot of action as Air Products is, is proving in Edmonton. How would you characterize the potential for hydrogen uh, in the future economy? And what impact do you see it having overall, but on particular sectors uh, specifically as well? So the world will be challenged to meet climate change goals without the use of hydrogen in the energy transition as a zero emission fuel. Hydrogen has played a key role in reducing emissions in the refining and petrochemical sectors for many years. And now you're right, the global race is on to reduce emissions by harnessing the benefits of hydrogen across other sectors. Examples of this include power generation by displacing natural gas, and transportation, specifically for heavy duty vehicles like trucks, trains, and transit. Our new facility, as an example, will use hydrogen produced to generate clean power, as well as support the transition of the transportation sector with liquid hydrogen. So why liquid hydrogen, you might ask? Liquid hydrogen meets fuel cell quality specifications, provides delivery location flexibility, and most mirrors the traditional consumer fueling experience that we're all accustomed to today. And when you look at those developments that are driving this industry forward, do you think Canada can lead in this new hydrogen economy? And what do you think is necessary to be done in order to achieve that? That's a great question. Canada can absolutely lead. Canada is well positioned to be a global leader in the emerging hydrogen economy. Back in June, our CEO and chairman, Safi Kazemi, talked about Canada's advantages in our news conference with the federal minister, the premier of Alberta, and the mayor of Edmonton. He highlighted two important elements that Canada has. One, Canada has strong political leadership establishing climate change goals, a clean energy transition vision, and collaboration across all levels of government. And two, Canada is rich in the right feedstocks and strategic energy infrastructure. This includes renewable power, abundant natural gas, carbon dioxide infrastructure, and viable geology for sequestration. To remain competitive, there needs to be a continued collaboration and focus on advancing technologies and innovation. Our new facility is a great example of this by utilizing modern technology 
with an innovative design to achieve net zero emissions producing hydrogen from natural gas. And that's why we've called it Blue But Better. Speaking about this new multi-billion dollar hydrogen complex that you're building in, in Edmonton, um, why did Air Products choose the Edmonton region to make that investment and that expansion? Um, could you highlight maybe some of the competitive advantages that the city or the region has uh, in terms of the hydrogen industry? So Edmonton was chosen for our new facility for several reasons. This includes proximity to our customers and our existing hydrogen pipeline network, a suitable large, a suitable large plant site that was secured, ensuring space for future expansions to meet growing demand, access to carbon dioxide infrastructure and viable geology for sequestration, a local workforce with the specialized skills that we need to construct and operate our facilities, and supportive local, regional, and provincial governments with forward-looking clean energy visions. So you asked what unique competitive advantages does the region offer? Well, let me answer this in two ways, today and in the future. So for today, the region offers a multi-source hydrogen distribution network that delivers on safety, reliability, and improved efficiency through economies of scale investments and modern technology. In the future, with the addition of our new net zero facility to our existing pipeline network, Edmonton and the surrounding region will be home to the lowest carbon hydrogen network in the world. Alberta has a long history of advancing technologies and innovation in the oil and gas sector. A few easy examples that come to mind would be the development of the oil sands, and more recently, Alberta's experience in carbon capture and sequestration. It is the same focus on technology and innovation that will lead the emerging hydrogen economy and create Canada's clean energy future. Our experience in the Edmonton and the industrial heartland region is that there is a unique concentration of talent we need to both construct and operate our world scale hydrogen investments. The Alberta technical schools and universities provide high quality programs. It's, they really establish a solid foundation of knowledge to develop a strong workforce in the energy sector. In addition, companies like Air Products offer work terms that then help students gain valuable field experience in hydrogen production facilities. The environmental benefits of hydrogen as a whole have been referred to throughout the whole interview. I'm wondering if you can expand on those and just uh, characterize that a bit more in terms of what really those benefits represent and what, uh, how you can quantify them. Absolutely. So there are four key items that make our new hydrogen energy complex in Edmonton a breakthrough project from an environmental perspective. First, the modern technology that was selected. We're utilizing autothermal reforming technology that will enable us to capture over 95% of the carbon dioxide. Second, the innovative design to achieve net zero emissions. We will be utilizing a portion of the hydrogen produced to supply a 100% hydrogen fired power generation facility. This will produce clean electricity for the entire complex, as well as for export to the grid that then offsets that remaining 5% of carbon dioxide. Third, the addition of this new facility to our existing hydrogen network. This will provide our customers with enhanced reliability and help improve their sustainability performance. And fourth, the inclusion of a liquefaction facility. This will be the first in Western Canada. Liquid hydrogen will support the transition of the transportation sector to a zero emission fuel, creating a cleaner energy future for Canada.